Hello, my name is Jurgen, and welcome back to Armored Warfare. Today, some more gameplay in the Tier 2 OT-65A uh, Vydra, which is a, as I said, Tier 2 armored fighting vehicle with an 82mm heat launcher with 240 pen, I think I, I just said that, and around 300 odd damage. It does do more than 350 on occasion, but around 330, 350 is what you're going to see most of the time, I think. Unless this gameplay contradicts what I just said. So, it's an RFI vehicle, it's wheeled, four wheels. Uh, they have improved the physics of how the wheels work in previous patches. Um, if you have been playing the game for a while, you will recall that Fox, which has four vehicles, it's smaller as well, that vehicle, but uh, had difficulty maintaining a straight line and cornering very well. We fire a blind shot there, but it doesn't go into the OF-40. The OF-40, of course, has very poor frontal armor. The turret armor is good, but 240 pen, there you go, 300 damage. Almost 400 damage into that tank. And the reload is, as I said, only 10 seconds, so it's quite good. I quite like this tank, um, or this vehicle. It's not... You know, without fault, it doesn't have any armor, for instance. Its gun depression isn't brilliant. Its view range isn't brilliant. Its camera range probably isn't that good. It's tier 2. It's probably better than some other tier 2s, but... It only gets heat as well, which means if you have a low health target that you can't pen, which probably is like a hold down tank, uh, like that tier 4 over there, uh, you may struggle to kill them unless you hit them with the capolas. So no high explosive, no armor piercing. You do get a bonus to uh, armor when it's less than 100 millimeters with heat. So that's why we did more damage on that 70 millimeter slope. I think it is on the uh, OF40's front plate. You can see the elevation there as well. Very briefly is okay. I mean the gun depression isn't bad. Uh, you can get away with some things, but it isn't you know. 10, 12, 15 degrees of gun depression. I've forgotten the exact stats. I do have them, I believe. Uh, I'll have them on screen now. 270 odd damage there. You can see it was a lot less than previous shots. I think the T62 has 100 millimeters of armor uh, on lower and upper plates. I'm not actually sure. But we can still pen it. But you can see another 270 damage, meaning we aren't getting that bonus damage compared to the R40. Or it may just be too low damage rolls. Uh, you know, that's just how it is. T62 of course fires heat at us and hits us for 490 penetrating our very thinly armoured tank. I think it's got like 20 odd millimetres of armour. Not actually sure. But, managed to do 1300 damage, 4 hits, on uh, targets which are higher tier. The T62 of course is tier 3, hasn't changed tier, and neither has the OF40. That remains at tier 4. However, there is a problem with firing at long range with this gun, as you saw there on the shot from the LA-50. LAV-50. Uh, we missed, for one, and that was to do with the velocity of the heat rounds. Uh, it's very, very slow, meaning this tank will struggle to snipe moving targets. And you're going to see me miss a load of shots, I believe, in this gameplay, and maybe uh, the next bit of gameplay as well. Uh, a match on pipelines, uh, or a skirmish match. See, I tried firing there, but it was about, I don't know, one and a half to two seconds flight time, and we didn't even hit that other Vydra who looked like he was right in the path of that heat round. So there is a bit of a problem. There he is again, and he moves out of the way well in time before the next round goes in. Or... Well, the next round wouldn't have actually hit him. And again, we just missed the target. Struggling to learn about the velocity of the tank uh, with its cannon. Or launcher, I guess. It's not really a cannon. Uh, it's just so frustrating watching this back, seeing how poor my accuracy was. But again, I think this was one of my first times playing the vehicle once or twice. Uh, definitely... Uh, one of my earlier games anyway. Mobility of the vehicle is pretty good though. It seems to be limited at about 65 km an hour, which is not, you know, fantastic, but 
it does accelerate quickly and maintain that top speed on most terrain. Uh, of course, braking is a little slower than that of accelerating, but that's just fine. A T55M1 that we just saw very briefly, there he is again. We can get a side penetration. Very long flight time, but we managed to get him because he doesn't move too much as he's distracted by that T62. Another shot, tracking him, 400 damage. And you can see tanks with more um, armor on the front than 100 millimeters will do uh, less damage, but because that tank has less than 100 millimeters on the side, it goes in quite easily. At least I think it's less than 100 millimeters of side armor. I could be wrong. And I may be getting it mixed up with AP rounds. AP rounds and heat rounds have special properties compared um, compared to the live server with regards to damage. Um, I believe AP is you do more than a hundred. Sorry, you do more damage than heat, or you get a bonus uh, on armor thicker than a hundred millimeters. Whereas heat does better against targets with less than a hundred millimeters of armor. So two and a half thousand damage done there, thousand spotting damage. Oh yeah, tier two crew, tier three commander. No retrofits, but it's pretty expensive to buy new vehicles, especially before they gave people on the PTS loads and loads of money. But we'll move on to the next match. So here we are again, but this time we're only in tier three maximum matchmaking, and we're in one of these skirmish games. Their stopgap solution or remedy your, I don't know, damage control for the um, problems with the population count of the game currently. Very, very low population count, and therefore they feel that having smaller games on smaller maps, or half-sized maps as you can see here, uh, will do the remaining player count. Um, well, games will be hopefully quicker, but then again, do you like these kind of matches where there's only five tanks on each team? I'm not really sure if I do, but... Oh, actually, what I said about the top speed is not true here. 80 kilometers an hour there, doing the um, top speed there instead of the previous match, which I said was about 65. Maybe it was just the terrain, and maybe I upgraded the engine. I'm not sure if there was an engine upgrade on this vehicle, but... We've got into this top corner of the map. We're trying to use our relatively good camera rating, I believe, in order to not um, be spotted and provide some fire support. However, I've chosen a position which is, you know, 500 meters away from that BMD. Ah, and I just missed a shot. Again, I've not really learned how to fire properly with this tank. But we've reloaded and waiting now for targets to appear like that type 69 or type 59 rather he backs up a little bit but he's behind some awkward cover and the reticule keeps aiming up to the pipeline which means i won't be able to hit the target at least i don't think so we fire a shot there and it just hits the ground oh the law from that xm 800t nearly hits the law has a much better firing velocity than this tank then again this tank is a tier lower and our shell doesn't hit there either you see the recoil from that lore as well just shot after shot i'm missing so maybe this isn't the play for this vehicle ah uh, we hit the top of the tank there angle was not quite right spotted again can't take the shot we're worried about that lore and well the xm 800 t could just pepper us with a lot of uh, AP rounds from his 20mm, even though it's not as good. The BMD is coming for us instead, though he's closed the range, so now we're spotted. And we're going to try and use our speed. The BMD isn't slow, but he is hopefully slower than us. As you can see, we're now trying to circle him. And close range shots like that on auto-aim will do us some justice. 390 damage. He hits us, though, unfortunately, for 300 odd. Trying to kill this guy. The law is inbound, so we need to get out of here. He's on full HP. And we're trying to link up with our leopards, or our leopard and our scimitar. Crashing <laughs> into the terrain, of course. Bit of a panic there, but we do still have most of our hit points. We only did get hit by a scimitar and one round from the BMD. So, 
Type 59 next target, hopefully, or perhaps the T55. So instead of going straight towards them, where they'll easily pick me off, we break contact, change direction, try and avoid the XM800T, and we go and try and help this scimitar, who managed to take out the T55, well played to him, but is now on very low HP. Probably going to die before I get a chance to help him at all, and there it is, he does die indeed, but now we managed to get one into the side of this Type 59. And now we can see the difference of mobility between a Tier 3 MBT and a Tier 2 AFV. We can penetrate his lower plate very easily. And his turret traverse and track traverse is so slow in comparison to our four wheel mobility. Just this rock getting in the way. We get hit there because of our poor driving. Trying to find a shot which isn't on the turret. We managed to get a pen there somehow at that weird, weird angle. He fires a shot. Law is inbound, of course. It's just me left. Managed to get one into the law for 300 damage, 370 damage. Definitely getting bonus coefficient damage here on thinner armor. Managed to pen the Type 59 somehow, but now the law and I are going round and round in circles here. Both of us are very mobile vehicles, even though he is tracked. And he has the ability to pivot in place. He comes forward, managed to get another shot through his lower plate. Of course, both of these tanks that we're playing have poor armor. Uh, he hits us for 500 damage. I'm not sure if that is really the best um, balance at the moment. 400 damage there, though, into him. Considering this tank has a bigger caliber launcher compared to the Law, it's surprising the Law does more damage in game, in real life. I don't know how these two tanks compete with their weapons, of course, it's hard to say. I don't think many. I don't think that tank, the XM800T, was even put in service. It sounds like a prototype with the name X in it. But we're now stuck behind here. We managed to do 3,400 damage, get two kills. That Law's got one kill and is his a lot. We pop smoke and he shoots us from stealth. We were pretty stuck. He managed to do the right thing though. He had the ability to move away from the firing zone, hide, and use his good gun depression to just pump another heat round into our side armor. So we go down. And that's a bit of a loss, but <laughs> you can see the vehicle has very decent mobility, very good potential for circling targets, and not really that good at long range shooting unless you can get the velocity to your favor you know you have to lead a lot more than you would otherwise but 17 shots fired 12 hits five misses as i say three and a half thousand damage done that guy on the other team did more of course but i'm pretty happy with that result for the ot65a vidra so if you enjoyed this gameplay be sure to leave a like comment down below if you wish and as always, I've been Jurgen, and I'll see you chaps and chapettes in the next one.